So we click on save. Then even before we make the change on the live site, we can go back. We're still we still got that selected, but we'll just select it again. Go to inspect, select the um, the logo, come over here, and where it's got uh, MW Joomla logo, I'm just going to put my mouse here. It might be a little bit hard for you to understand what I'm doing. And I'm just pressing backspace. Uh, sorry, delete until I get to dot PNG like that, and then I'm going to type new logo and I move my mouse, my cursor over here. There it is. There's my new logo. So I've done that in line using Firebug. And now that I know that it works, all I need to do is go to line 82 of template.css and make that change. So I'm going to open template.css, which we already had open. And I'm going to go to line 82. Here it is. Div logo. Here's the path. I'm going to replace that part there with new logo, press save, refresh my screen, and hey presto we've changed the logo, aren't we clever? So we've almost finished this uh, first very basic uh, tutorial on changing templates, uh, we'll just go through one more little quick thing before we move to the next video, something more, a little more uh, in depth. Uh, another thing that often gets asked is how do I change the font for the whole site? Uh, that really does depend. It's a, it's a very difficult question, but it really does depend on the uh, on the template. Some templates will use um, a, a one uh, font uh, tag to to govern the entire site. Um, other templates will specify the um, you know the tag somewhere else. Um, often, if you click on the um, on the body tag, often you'll find that specified somewhere here. And in fact, here it is. So what I've done is I've, is I've haven't, I'm not really clicking anywhere on the template itself with the inspect. I'm just inspecting myself down here in the HTML uh, display. So I've expanded that, and I've clicked on the body because I know that's often where the uh, the font is specified. And there it is, right there, the body tag, which is a uh, a standard tag in CSS, and it's on line 15. It specifies the standard color of text unless otherwise specified, the standard font of the text unless otherwise specified, and the size uh, and also the line height. So just to, to check it out, if I was to click here and I was to type in, for example, Tahoma, we'll notice, you might not have noticed, but I, I did, uh, it changed straight away. Uh, if it wasn't Tahoma, maybe if we typed in uh, Verdana, again it changes, you can see that up there, uh, Arial, uh, and not that you do it, but if you type Comic Sans, there it is. And you can see that although this is still retaining its blue, the entire site is taking on uh, the new um, uh, font. So it's just so easy now. Now that we know what it is, uh, we go to template.css, line 15, and there's font family there. So let's open up our template.css again and go up to line 15. Here it is. And just so that we can actually see it's changed, again, not that I would ever recommend using Comic Sans, but, um, uh, and make sure you spell, I think it's then MS, like that. If we now do a refresh, yes, there we are. You'll know if, it, you've, got, if you've got it wrong. In fact, if we go and deliberately make it wrong, um, uh, my font, it should, it'll probably revert back to a standard, yes, that's what I thought it would have done, a standard font, which is generally something like Times New Roman. Uh, you can see because I, I, I typed that incorrectly. So you'll know if you've typed it incorrectly, uh, we'll do that. Now, if you're also lucky enough to have something uh, such as a, um, uh, a WYSIWYG um, HTML um, editor or, or, or the like, or as sometimes it's referred to as an IDE, an integrated development environment. Um, some of them have what they call autocomplete. So you'll you'll type in font family and you'll put a colon there and up will come various choices. Uh, NPAD2 doesn't have that, however, <laughs> uh, Firebug does. So if we go back to Firebug and we just scroll down that bit and we put in font family and just put our cursor in there and then what I'm doing now is I'm moving the 
uh, using the up down arrows on my keyboard put backspace first and now it's going to scroll through it's possible what it knows is options Times New Roman Lucinda Haltevecchia Serif Sans Serif Cursive so forth and so on uh, some of them will not be always available in uh, in the person's browser. It's very, very important to use what's called web safe fonts. And that's why you'll sometimes see them put in, in uh, what's called a family. In other words, it will have three or four different options of font so that if one, if a computer doesn't have one, it reverts to the, to the other. Um, if you just did a Google search uh, for web safe fonts, I'm sure um, here we go. I'm sure we'll find many. Uh, in fact, let's do the Wikipedia one. We'll find that the list should contain um, groups of fonts that are considered web safe. In other words, what is uh, on most people's com computers. Um, just wondering whether uh, there's another, another link to it here. Probably taking a bit too much time on this, but. Uh, it, it is important to understand. Ah, here we go. This is this is perfect. So um, here is a uh, a list of of similar. You notice how this one is an example where it has Tahoma, Geneva, and Sans Serif. So that is a list of similar fonts that if one fails, it will revert to the next and revert to the next again. Uh, so if you wanted Tahoma, but to make you wouldn't just put Tahoma, you'd also put Geneva. So you'd actually put it exactly as it says there. So if I copy that, like that, and put that in my uh, in here, with the commas, press save, go back to my website. It'll take on Tahoma because I have Tahoma in, on my computer. But for those people that don't, it will take on the the next one in line. Well, that's about it for this uh, video, and you'll uh, there will be one or two more slightly advanced videos to come. But um, I hope this has pointed you in the right direction, and also the power of um, of uh, Firebug. Uh, Firebug is is probably the single most tool I use in my day-to-day uh, -day work as a web developer with Joomla. Uh, I I couldn't uh, be without it, and it's, uh, it saves me so much time. Uh, you can also see that. Um, it doesn't have to be your site in order to be able to get ideas from it. Um, uh, of course, plagiarism isn't a good thing. However, it, it can be good to to loan ideas or, or get inspiration from other sites. So, uh, you know, if you're wondering how uh, certain sites do a certain, um, you know, how they've achieved a certain look or whatever, you can use uh, Firebug on, uh, on other sites. So, you know, you can see... Uh, for example, uh, what font they've used, or the colour, or where this background comes from. You know, if I put my mouse right up there, I'm sure I'll find it if I click on page. Or maybe it's the body. Here we go, page holder. It shows me that there is a um, an image called body BG, uh, and uh, and you, you'll be able to um, see how they've achieved this result on the Joomla site, which is quite nice. Um, so that's about it. I hope this has been uh, informative for you and uh, stay tuned for my other videos. Thanks very much.